Opening statements in the trial of the George Zimmerman. It starts tomorrow, and Zimmerman is charged with murder in the killing of South Florida teenager Trayvon Martin. CBS 12's Ben Becker is covering the trial for us. He's live in Sanford with what to expect tomorrow. Hi, Ben. Hi, Jenna. All eyes will be on the Seminole County Criminal Justice Center tomorrow for opening statements. The prosecution and the defense are expected to come out swinging. Six women. Defense attorney Mark O'Mara and prosecutor Bernie De La Rianda will be front and center in the George Zimmerman trial, and it could be explosive. What can we expect? Fireworks. A lot of them. Patrick McCamey is a criminal defense attorney. You're not going to win your trial in an opening statement, but you can lose it, and that's because approximately 70% of jurors make up their mind at the end of opening statement. Zimmerman is charged with second degree murder in the shooting of 17 year old Trayvon Martin, seen here with his father. A jury of all women will decide the fate of Zimmerman. Five are white, with only one minority. Overall, I think the defense is is looking at it more as more of a win to have six women because women tend to on these jurors, uh, on these juries when you're having when you're dealing with a homicide, women tend to allow sympathy and emotion to play into their deliberations more so than men do. Notwithstanding the instruction from the judge, which will be that you cannot allow sympathy to affect your verdict. On Thursday, Zimmerman told the judge that he was satisfied with the jury selection. And is this jury panel acceptable to you, sir? Yes, Your Honor. Zimmerman says he shot Martin in self defense, but prosecutors accuse him of profiling and killing Martin. McCamey has this prediction. I believe that it's going to go one of two ways. They're going to have a hung jury, um, or it's going to be a not guilty. I think it's going to be a not guilty. Well, we'll have to see about that. If convicted, Zimmerman faces life in prison. The trial is expected to last two to four weeks. Reporting live in Sanford, Ben Becker, CBS 12 News. Thanks, Ben.